Hey, heads up, quick heads up. This video is about um, cortisol. Um, I'm gonna make it really short and simple because most people out there know what cortisol is. In case you don't, cortisol is the last shit you want in your body, even though you're not gonna be able to prevent it a lot of times. Cortisol happens when you had a calorie deficit. You, you, I mean, you had an energy deficit pretty much. You um, say you go in the gym for more than 45 minutes, your body releases cortisol because your glycogen stores are empty, you have no more energy in your body, and now your body's going to a state of shock where it's thinking, well, we don't have enough energy. And in case you didn't know, having muscle requires a lot more energy. Your body burns a lot more energy when you have muscle. So the first thing your body thinks when you're losing energy is get rid of these muscles. It goes against your, your desires to build muscle and your body destroys your muscles for one, so your body will consume less energy because hey, you had an energy deficit. And two, because to turn all that crap that is breaking down into energy. Your body wants to destroy your muscles and turn into you know an energy source, even though it's a low quality energy source, you know? So to prevent cortisol from you know being released, cortisol is the hormone your body releases to, to you know destroy your muscles. That's why you don't want cortisol in your body, even though you can't prevent it at most times. Um, to prevent the release of cortisol, uh, you wanna you wanna get out of the gym after 40 minutes, 45 minutes max, because after that testosterone drops, cortisol goes up. Um, you wanna get enough rest between workouts. You don't wanna overtrain, and um, if you do exercises in the morning, like me, you like waking up early to to do like your cardio and stuff like that. I do my cardio in the morning to burn fat. If you do your cardio in the morning on an empty stomach, when you come back, make sure you take a protein shake that comes with carbs. You know, I have I use super mass gain or something like that. And make sure you drink something, a liquid, fast digesting carb to replenish your glycogen stores really, really fast. Because if your glycogen stores are not replenished, watch my video on glycogen stores. Your body's gonna need energy and it's gonna look for it in your muscles. And it's gonna release cortisol to do that job, all right? So you don't want cortisol in your body. At night, it's, Cortisol gets released because you know you're fasting during the eight hours that you're sleeping, you're not really eating, so you can't really stop that. But in the morning when you wake up, you know, you want to eat, you know, carbs to you know have the energy so your body doesn't destroy your muscles. So cortisol is the enemy of every bodybuilder. You don't want cortisol destroying your muscles. And to prevent that, you want to limit your workouts to like you know 45 minutes at, at most. You know, I say 40, get out. And you want to eat fast digesting carbs right after your workout, so it goes back in your bloodstream and you know replenishes your glycogen stores. And um, watch my video on glycogen stores. And you wanna, um, yeah, you wanna have a clean, healthy diet, man. You wanna eat slow digesting carbs every three hours with protein, so that it releases into your blood slowly and gives you a constant supply of energy throughout the day. All right. So cortisol is the big enemy. Prevent cortisol from destroying your hard-earned muscles. Uh, this is week four of my transformation, by the way. I'm, I don't see any results, but hey, it's only week four, and I'm going through a bulking phase. I definitely don't want cortisol in this phase. I'm in a bulking phase. I'm trying to put on mass, so the last thing I want is cortisol. So I'm limiting my workouts. It's, they're still intense, but they're very short, and I'm eating a lot of carbs to keep my energy levels high, you know, healthy carbs. Anyway, email me your questions. That's what this channel is for. If you don't want to do research, you hate reading, or you don't have time, I got plenty of time on my hands. Plus, I love doing research, so just email me your questions. If I if I know the question, I'll make a video. Uh, if I don't have one posted up already. If I don't know the answer to your question, I'll just look it up, you know, and make a video for you. That's two birds with one stone. I learned something new, you learn something new. All right.